such a big week in the house. They have to come back tomorrow. Holy <laughs> It feels gigantic. <laughs> I'm literally dying to get these fronts up. Put toothpaste on the outlet. Wow. We had a little bit of a dilemma. We're not following anyone's instructions. <laughs> OMG. Hi everyone, this is Lauren from the LKS Address. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is the eighth video in our kitchen renovation series, and it is finally time to get these countertops installed. We were very anxious to see how they would look since it's so difficult to really see and understand like the lighting in a warehouse compared to the lighting in your own home. So let's start this video with countertop installation. Such a big week in the house. Not only did we get our floors just a few days ago, our quartz guy called last night at five o'clock and said, hey, are you gonna be home? We wanna install the counters tomorrow. And I said, of course, I'm gonna be home. Cam had to go to the office today, so he didn't get to see. It's gonna be a really nice surprise and we're gonna film his reaction when he walks through the door. I haven't sent him any pictures, but I have sent him a lot of texts that I am in love. I love it so much. So let's take a look at what they were able to get done today. They have to come back tomorrow, but I'll tell you why. Here's a quick look. We decided on the same countertop around the whole kitchen. We have our nine foot island, which I love how it grounds the space. I think it's so amazing. A focal point. Can't wait to get our pendants hung here. It's going to just come together and we just ordered bar stools. They're a 10 week lead time. So it's going to be a while till we get those. That's okay though. And then we've got the coffee bar here can start installing the cabinets that go on the countertop. The pantry, same thing, Count cabinets that go on the countertop here, can finally get those in and then come around. We've got our sink across under Mount Stainless Steel sink. This is the same exact sink we had in the condo, loved it. So just stuck with what we know, super happy with it in general. And then we've got the countertop and the stone backsplash we deliberately stopped it here so it's creating this line across the kitchen and then we get to the range wall they cut the piece too short so they have to redo it they're cutting it now hopefully it'll be done tomorrow and then they can come install it and then we have our shelf that's going to run here so that's the point of the kitchen that we were i would say second most excited to see but that's fine we got to see this beautiful island turned out so great i'm so happy with the stone and then tomorrow We'll get to see the backsplash at the range and the shelf get installed. Okay, come in. Come in. Holy shit. It feels gigantic. <laughs> Why? I didn't call my sister and I was like, remember when Cam said that this kitchen was small? Mm -hmm. By the way, I filmed your reaction. You're on camera. <laughs> you... <laughs> really big day in the kitchen today. Two things happened. Our quartz guys came back to finish the last piece of backsplash and finally installed the shelf. We couldn't resist throwing up a quick picture in one of the side cabinets just to see what this area is going to look like. And we're just so happy with how the stone turned out and just love it. And then maybe even bigger news is that our plumber came and we now have a functioning kitchen sink. He installed the faucet, the garbage disposal, and ran some plumbing for the dishwasher. So we can finally get cooking in our kitchen again. And that's what this is all about. It's about building this kitchen for Cam and I so that we can enjoy it and cooking is one of my biggest hobbies. So I just can't wait to work in this kitchen. It's just stunning and we've made it super functional for us along the way too. And with the countertop installation out of the way, it is time to start painting our unfinished kitchen cabinet fronts. All 
right, we got all of our fronts laid out in the garage. We wanted to make sure they were actually gonna fit before we started painting. So we've got them propped up on the paint triangles. It's a lot of fronts. It'll be interesting to see how long all these take to paint with our Graco sprayer. We'll report back on how long it actually took for the first coat, but we are gonna work from the back in so that we're not near any of the wet fronts and disrupting them. So I think that method will work. Kept an aisle in the middle for us to access them all. So fingers crossed this goes well. After our first run of spraying, we were hanging the fronts for the island and we decided that we were getting extra running and we, we weren't super keen on it. So our friend Michelle flipping our home on Instagram, she used this method. We got it from her. Uh, Lazy Susan, this is from Ikea. We had it already. And then we've got our paint triangles. We have two setups. So this setup right here, these four that are really close, we'll do our drawer fronts. And then we have a larger setup for the larger front. Been a weekend. We just wrapped up our first couple coats on the fronts of the rest of the kitchen, the perimeter, and the pantry area. We got the first two coats of primer, sanding, tack clothing in between, and then we got the first coat of the finished color. So we have three more coats to do because we're doing front and back. We're gonna let the the backside cure for at least a day before we flip it over because we want to make sure that there's no marks. But hopefully we can get that fourth coat finished up this week and then do the final coat next weekend for all the fronts and then we'll let them cure for probably a week and we can get installing them, which is really exciting. And then we can finally unpack our kitchen. It's starting to get beautiful. So it's really tough because I want it done like now. Did the final coat on the fronts, on the back of the fronts last night and they've been drying and now it is time to do the final coat on the front and these can start to cure. We can get our kitchen put back together. I'm literally dying to get these fronts up because we can't assemble most of the drawers without the front, so we can't unpack our kitchen. So it's just killing me to get these up, and obviously I want to see how it looks. And while we work through the process of painting our kitchen cabinet fronts, and letting them dry and set. We're going to go back into the kitchen to install the final I Ikea cabinet boxes now that the counters have been installed. Okay, it's a really exciting day because we're about to finally install the track for our pantry cabinets that sit on the countertop. We've been waiting till the countertop was installed so we didn't have to play a guessing game on how much thickness it would be. Is it right? Did they shim it? Who knows? Anyways, we took the cabinet, one of them, and then I have a spare piece of track that I locked in. We set the cabinet on here and then the, the track is locked in. It's not screwed to the wall, it's just locked into the cabinet. And basically I just took a pencil and marked where this track needs to go. So it's pretty foolproof, I think. Let's just see if it works. We're gonna mount the track as tiny hair higher so that hopefully they're, it's not fully resting on the countertop. Like once the weight of the pantry and the fronts and the side panels and all the food is in there. We ideally like to keep it a, t a hair off the countertop. So let's see how this goes first try, but it seems like it should work. But famous last words. One other quick thing that if we already did this again, we would have done is that we haven't really seen any tutorials on like how to do this. So we kind of just ran with it, did not install the bottom of this cabinet. And then as you can see, Cam followed the typical Ikea directions, like what he's supposed to do. And this, this back panel, like he pushed it all the way up. And if we did it again, I would have just pushed that back panel down to the counter and then nailed it in the back so that we didn't have that um, gap back there, but we're gonna fix it somehow and we'll get it looking good.
All right, both of our pantry cabinets have an outlet in the back of it. And to ensure that we line the hole up correctly, trying to do this a foolproof way. I mean, I could measure, but I feel like there's a lot of error potential for error. We tried out the toothpaste trick, put toothpaste on the outlet, pushed it against the cabinet, and this is what we got. I drew the lines with the level so we can make sure they're straight. And let's see if this actually works. Wow, Camus jigsaw skills now that he doesn't have a crooked ass blade. Perfect. We had a little bit of a dilemma and what's funny is every time that I'm freaking out, Cam is calm as a cucumber and when Cam is freaking out, I'm calm as a cucumber. We balance each other so well. But basically we started to put in the pantry cabinets and there was something weird going on here and then we realized that the panel was like shifted. So we emptied the entire pantry, unlocked these two cabinets and banged on them until this straightened out because this doesn't have a side panel or a filler panel. So this had to be perfectly straight and it wasn't. We were gonna have issues and the pantry is part of the kitchen that we were really, really looking forward to and it's kind of like a focal point. So we wanted to make sure it was perfect. So it's just a little bit stressful trying to problem solve after the countertop and side panels and floor is in, but we made it work and it's much better. All right, we're hacking our little pantry area with the Ikea boxes and this is a problem we're running into. So we don't, we're not following anyone's instructions on how to do this, we kind of just did it. And now we have this issue where there's nothing holding the cabinet tight on either end and the shelf is very loose. So we picked up some cam shelf support locks and we're gonna use these bad boys, which will screw into the shelf and then lock in with the pin. So we'll still be able to adjust the shelves, which is kind of important to me in case we wanna change the function of this in the future. Let's see how this goes. So as we showed in the last clip, we ended up putting a support in the back from the bottom panel. We just trimmed it down and that really helps keep the cabinet the right size because before it was just wonky. And then we used the cam bolts, which are actually great. They're a little messy because they were really hard to get in without a drill press, but basically it locks the shelf in. These shelves are not going anywhere. So this cabinet is really like solid now, which is great. So we don't have to worry about it. And with that, we're gonna give you a quick little sneak peek of us getting the first finished door on to our kitchen cabinets. It's so exciting. In the next week's video, we're going to be putting all the fronts on and the door hardware. Can't wait to show that to you. If you've made it to this point in the video, we just wanna thank you for being here. Please thumbs up the video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.